guys! So, a lot of you have been asking about my journey with endometriosis, so I wanted to take the time today to share with you my experience. A lot of you may not even know what endometriosis is, and it's basically a highly inflammatory condition that can affect any area within your body. You can have endometriosis in your eyes, you can have it in your digestive system. I have it in my uterus, which can affect fertility, and that's what happened with me. Finding out that I had endometriosis was a very, very long journey. For years, I would have very painful menstrual cramps. Can I say that? <laughs> I really didn't know why. But my cramps were so incredibly painful that um, I would get emotional, I would cry. I remember there was this one time in particular when I was in college and thank God I was going to school with my sister. I was in a class and I was having so much pain that I had to excuse myself from the classroom. I ended up going to the bathroom and I stayed there until the class was over. I actually missed the class. My sister had to drive because I was in so much pain going home from um, school that I had to sit in the back seat and I remember just being, you know, balled up and crunched up because I was in so much pain. I ended up calling my doctor and I said, you know, something's going on. I'm just in a lot of pain. This just doesn't seem normal. She would just tell me, run it off, take a bath. Um, she would also tell me, put a heating pad on it but it just never felt right. I was still in a lot of pain. And one time in particular, there was this um, girl, her name is Alicia. What's up Alicia, if you're watching this, thank you so much. You are actually one of the reasons why I feel like I am in a better place today. She told me that she knew a doctor. She's like, you really need to see a specialist as opposed to just a regular doctor. I ended up seeing this doctor and she said, the only thing is, your symptoms sound like you have endometriosis, but to properly diagnose you, you have to have surgery. I was like, oh my gosh, I had never had surgery before. Um, and I guess that's how you can probably diagnose if you have endometriosis. So I ended up doing the surgery and boom, I was diagnosed with endometriosis. What they find in surgery is scar tissue along the lining of the uterus. And that's why you're in so much pain. So what they do is the doctors, they go in and they try to get rid of that scar tissue so that you're no longer in pain. But the thing with endometriosis is it can cause infertility. And that was one of the main reasons why I decided to have the surgery as well. Number one, to get diagnosed um, properly. Number two, I wanted to have you know children. Here I am being diagnosed at 25 years old. I'm with the love of my life, Corey, who's my husband now. We were talking about getting married and having kids. And when I first heard that there was a possibility that I could not have children, mind blown. I was like, what? I was just, you know, really confused about the whole thing. After the surgery, they removed the scar tissue, but the thing about endometriosis is it comes back. So I felt better for about maybe two years and the scar tissue and the pain ended up coming back. So I had to have another surgery. The reason I decided to have the second surgery is because I wanted to have a baby. And the doctor said that in order for that to happen, we would have to have another surgery. But not only would we have to have another surgery, I would have to change my diet. Um, because she told me if I didn't, I would have to keep on having surgeries over and over and over and over again. And I didn't want that. There are certain foods that cause inflammation in the body. Those foods are dairy, um, highly processed foods and sugar. It causes inflammation in the body, therefore it exacerbates my condition called endometriosis. And when I heard that, I was like, what? Like, what do you mean I can't have ice cream? <laughs> 
I can't have cookies, I can't have sugar. So to be honest with you, it was a little overwhelming and shocking. This was the first time that I was hearing that food can either exacerbate um, your condition or if you choose foods that lower inflammation in your body, it can help your condition. So I was on a mission and I was on this mission for a year. And basically what I did was I just started to create recipes and um, cook at home. And lo and behold, that's how A Whole New You was created. This is a book that is full of recipes that I had eaten and made at home myself for a whole year to basically make myself feel better with you know, my condition endometriosis. And I truly believe, along with my doctor, because I followed those guidelines, I was able to have my son Cree. I call him my miracle child. It was hard at first going on this journey because you're changing your whole perspective of food. You're changing the way that you eat. But like I said, I was so determined because I wanted to have a baby. And um, I've always wanted to start a family ever since I was a little girl. So if my doctor told me that this is what I needed to do to see some sort of change, that's what I did. So today, you know, I am careful with what I eat, but I also have a lot of fun. You know, I still partake in cake and cookies and ice cream and all of that. I'll do like little detoxes every now and then. So um, I'm actually on the detox right now. Of course, I just had my baby girl, Cairo. So it's like after I eat very, very clean and after I have my baby, I'm like, yee it's time to party. So what's interesting about endometriosis is Doctors say that your symptoms will get better after you have a baby. <laughs> but it's like, you gotta get pregnant in the first place, you know? <laughs> so um, with that said, my symptoms did kind of creep in a little bit because it was seven years after having my son. And they usually say, you know, after you have a baby, your symptoms will get better, but it can creep back. And once I noticed that, and then also I wanted to have a daughter, I started to change up my diet again. Um, and then I did have another surgery so that I can have my daughter, Cairo. I think the one thing that I learned from this experience with having endometriosis was, number one, I didn't want to keep it in the closet. I wanted to share my experience with other people and I wanted to educate other women out there um, to make them become aware of endometriosis because a lot of people have this condition and don't even know that they have it. And I wish that there were other women out there that were vulnerable and open so that I could recognize my symptoms in their story and have gotten some sort of help a lot sooner if I were to give any of you guys any advice, listen to you and listen to your body. You are living in your body every single day. And if you know that something is off or something is wrong or something is different, don't give up. I kept on going to this one particular doctor for years and I wasn't getting any help. And so I just didn't depend on that one doctor, I went ahead and went to another doctor until I got to the root of the problem. So if I were to give any of you guys any advice, listen to your body, listen to yourself, and don't just go for one opinion. So that's my story. If you guys have a story that you wanna share, make sure you just jot it down in the comments below and we are here for you and be sure to follow Tia Mori's Quick Fix, and I'll see you next time.